This video demonstrates the qualitative fit test procedures for NIOSH approved Gerson surgical respirators such as the Smart Mask Model 2130 and Molded Respirator Model 1730 and 2735 among others. When you are first issued a respirator and have learned to put it on correctly, you must make sure your respirator fits properly. Prior to being fit tested in any respirator, you must have completed a medical evaluation which determines your fitness for wearing a respirator. The proper fit of your respirator must be confirmed with a fit test before you wear the respirator in a contaminated atmosphere. As part of an OSHA required respiratory protection program in compliance with OSHA Respiratory Protection Standard 29 CFR 1910-134. One type of qualitative fit test can be performed with a mist that contains either saccharin, which contains a sweetener, or a bitter tasting substance known as Bitrex. The test process is the same for both test agents. Your instructor will tell you which material will be used for your fit test. This test is valid for any particulate respirator or any gas and vapor respirator with particulate filters. The particulate filters are used so that only face piece fit is tested. The qualitative fit test must be repeated at least once a year to ensure your respirator continues to fit properly. If your respirator does not fit properly to pass this test, you'll need to refit your existing respirator or try a different size or style of respirator until you pass the test. Because this is a taste test, you cannot eat, drink, or chew gum for 15 minutes before the test. The complete test is broken down into two parts, the sensitivity test and the fit test. The first step is a sensitivity test. It establishes your ability to taste the test agent. You don't wear your respirator for this step. Your instructor will place a hood over your head it should be positioned so there is about six inches between your face and the hood window. This allows free movement of your head. Unscrew the top of nebulizer number one and pour in a small amount, approximately one tablespoon of the sensitivity test solution. Using nebulizer number one containing the sensitivity test agent, the instructor will initially spray 10 squeezes rapidly through the hole in the hood window. You must breathe with your mouth open and your tongue slightly extended. If you taste the test agent, tell the instructor. The taste threshold will be noted as 10, regardless of the number of squeezes actually completed. If you can't taste the test agent after 10 squeezes, the instructor will put an additional 10 squeezes into the hood. If the taste is detected during the second 10 squeezes, the test is completed and recorded as 20. If you still can't taste the test agent, the instructor will add 10 more. If the taste is detected during the third set of 10 squeezes, the test is completed and recorded as 30. If you still can't taste the test agent after 30 squeezes, the test is over. You can't be tested using this material. Once it has been determined at what level, 10, 20, or 30 squeezes, that you can taste the test agent, you'll remove the hood and wait a few minutes to clear the taste from your mouth. Rinsing your mouth with water may be helpful. For the fit test, put on your respirator following all instructions for proper fitting, including a user seal check. The instructor will place the test hood over your head again and position it so you have about six inches between your face and the window. Now, using nebulizer number two containing the fit test solution, the instructor will spray the fit test agent into the hood using 10, 20, or 30 squeezes depending on the number of squeezes needed to taste the test agent. To maintain the concentration of solution during the test, the instructor will inject half the number of squeezes used at the beginning of the fit test, 5, 10, or 15 every 30 seconds thereafter. Continue to breathe through your mouth during the entire test. Perform the following exercises for 60 seconds each as directed by your instructor. Number one, Breathe normally. Number two, breathe deeply and regularly. Number three, turn your head from side to side, stopping for a breath at each side. Number four, nod your head up and down, 
holding at each position for one or two breaths. Number five, talk. Read the rainbow passage slowly and out loud. Number six, bend over. Bend at the waist as if touching your toes. Be sure to hold onto the hood when bending over. You may substitute jogging in place for this exercise. Number seven, breathe normally again. When you complete the exercises without tasting the test agent, the respirator fits you properly. If at any time during the fit test, you can detect the same taste you did during the sensitivity check, inform the instructor immediately. It means your respirator does not fit properly. You must then refit your existing respirator or select a different size or style of respirator. Once you clear the taste of the test agent from your mouth, you'll repeat the fit test procedure. When you complete the exercises without tasting the test agent, the respirator fits you properly. When it comes to respiratory protection, you must have a proper fit. Your health depends on it. Gerson is committed to your respiratory health protection.